Okay, another Patreon video. This is Steve Reichlin's wood grilled artichokes on the Kalamazoo hybrid fire, whatever the fuck grill. I would like to point out that this particular grill that he's using is costs about thirty five thousand dollars. Okay. Unfortunately, I, I've i never really grilled artichokes, so unfortunately this is a little out of my wheelhouse. But I know Steven Reichlin, so he's probably going to be a pretentious piece of shit. <sighs> yep, just by the lemon aioli. I first experienced wood-grilled artichokes at Walt's Wharf Restaurant in Seal Beach, California. I loved how the wood smoke really you were at a restaurant. Uh, whatever. Accentuated the artichokes' natural sweetness. Is Steve Reichlin just like the original soy boy or something? Now these are globe artichokes. They come from the nation's artichoke capital, Castroville, just up the coast. And the first step is using kitchen scissors. You want to snip off the spines off the ends of the artichoke leaves. Once you've... That is important. I will say that. Uh, I, I will defend him a little bit on that because pick up an artichoke wrong and it fucking hurts. Cut off the spine. Then take a sharp knife and cut the top inch off the artichoke. Then cut a quarter inch off the bottom. Leave the rest of the stem intact. That is perfectly edible. In fact, it's perfectly delicious. Cut the artichoke in half lengthwise. And using a melon baller, scrape out the choke. That is this fibrous center. We'll do the same thing with this one. This is a Meyer lemon. We're going to use it both to keep the artichokes from discoloring and to flavor the aioli. Why? Why, why why'd you have to do the Meyer lemon? Meyer lemons, if you don't know, are once again incredibly hard to find. Once again, leading my hypothesis that he is the most pretentious cocksucker on the, on the television for cooking shows. They're incredibly hard to find. They're only in season for a little bit and are twice as expensive as regular lemons. And quite frankly, there's no real fucking difference. Using a great... Now I know his fucking fans are going to come at you. Yeah, you fucking fat, foul mouth piece of shit. Later. Meyer lemons are so much better than the regular lemons. No, they're not. We'll grate the zest. That's the oil-rich outer rind and I'll grate it into some mayonnaise. Next, cut. So you want an oil-rich zest, whatever. The lemon in half, and rub the cut part of the artichokes with lemon to keep the artichoke from browning. Next, you want to parboil the artichokes in rapidly boiling salted water. Now, normally I don't like parboiling vegetables, but artichokes are so fibrous and leathery that parboiling keeps them moist during grilling. Boiling time here will be about 10 to 15 minutes. While the artichokes boil, let me show you how to set up the grill. To oh, grill great. the artichokes, I'm using a Kalamazoo hybrid grill. Once again, it's $35,000. Yeah, everybody has that just lying around. It's heated with propane, but it has this fuel drawer that you can fill either with charcoal or with oak logs. So I'll place an oak log in. Do you know what you could also do on a regular gas grill? You could either buy a smoker box, which I don't particularly like, um, or wrap it in, in uh, aluminum foil, poke holes in it, and you get the same effect. It's smoke. Or spend a couple of bucks, like 150 bucks, get a decent Weber, 
or spend even less because honestly, it'll. I I, I get in in truth, wood burns, burn it does burn hotter, but not as long anyway. Fuck it. Get yourself a Weber. Put wood chunks. Have a wood fire. And then you get all the benefits of it, you fucking idiot. Right now, you're basically spending $33,000 to have a smoke box. Fucking great. Each slot, you actually get the convenience of propane and the incredible smoke flavor from wood. Okay, so the... Once again, you can buy a $20 smoke box, a $20 cast iron smoke box. I, I don't even think they're that much. The artichokes look ready. And the way we test, take the tip of a knife if it pierces the artichoke flesh easily. The ar and it must be 338 degrees. Okay, so degrees. the artichokes look ready. Oh, and the shit, way we test, take the tip of a knife if it pierces the artichoke flesh easily. The artichokes are cooked. Take the artichokes out and turn them over, drain them, and then I place the... My only experience with artichokes, I'll be honest, is I made... I don't know if I have the footage. I... I don't, I don't know if it got fucked up, but I'll, I have to remake it. And uh, it was an ani pasto uh, pasta salad. Chokes on a wire rack so they drain further. Now, to baste the. Also, where the fuck's your beer, Steve? You're going to be grilling. You don't have a beer. I ain't grilling, buddy. Artichokes. I'm using chai butter, simply melted butter, to which I'll add chopped fresh chives just why they do nothing a chai butter would be a compound butter that means the fucking shit is solid you fucking retard stir those into the butter the, the, you're not adding any flavor you would have been better served by drenching the chokes in butter putting them on the fucking grill and then also adding the chives Whatever, be this pretentious, I don't give a fuck. A nice chive flavor. Then with a basting brush, first we can baste outside the artichoke. Then we'll turn the artichokes over. And baste the cut sides the same way. So basically he just used the butter as, a, as, as something to stick the fucking pieces of... Oh, God, I hate this guy. Also, your fire is way too high to put artichokes on. They'll just burn. And while you're at it, baste the cut sides of the Meyer lemon. And I check this him. out. For the aioli, I'm going to grill some fresh garlic. So I've Ooh. skewered it on a bed. Holy shit. He's going to grill some fucking garlic. Bamboo skewer. The foil will keep the end of the skewer from burning, and we'll just baste the garlic with butter as well. You want to arrange the artichokes. Your flames are too high. Cut side down first, so the leaves of. Oh my God! Okay, when you cook over wood, okay, let's say you get uh, a fire pit or what, whatever the fuck, and you get a little camp stove to go over the fucking fire pit. When you cook over a fucking fire. Okay, you don't want roaring flames because all it does, and yes, these are vegetables, shut the fuck up. But generally, you want the, M, you basically, you want to cook over coals. Because if you're cooking over roaring flames, all you're doing is just charring the shit out of the outside while the inside is still dead raw. Now, yes, I'm aware he fucking parboiled it. But this is bad technique for anything else except Except maybe vegetables. You do this with a steak, your steak is fucked. Absorb that wonderful wood smoke. Not to mention, your butter's flammable, so decent shot, your, art your artichokes are going to catch on fire. And the idea here is just, you want to put a little color on the bottom of the artichokes. Once again, anything else except for While vegetables, this grill, is a terrible technique. You can baste them with a little bit more of that chive butter. You 
You can see. I can already hear a sycophantic fan. Yeah, I'm going to do the goddamn grilling. We put a nice char on those Meyer lemons. And don't forget to turn and baste the garlic, too. Fucking pussy cat, I have your stupid little glove. Once the artichokes are smoky and charred, transfer them to a platter. While the artichokes cool, finish the aioli. So start with it's aioli. this grilled garlic. I don't mean to be a dick, but it, Steve just pisses me off. So to cut the garlic crosswise first, and then we can smash it with the side of a knife, and then just finely chop it. And don't worry about those little bits of black. They'll add color and flavor. Add your chopped grilled garlic to the aioli. Squeeze the grilled Meyer lemon juice into the aioli. Finally, about a half teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Once again, that is not freshly ground. Freshly ground means you take the fucking pepper mill, put it over your fucking bowl of fucking mayonnaise and lemon zest and shit and grind about a half a teaspoon of fucking pepper, you idiot. Now, some people ask, why do you harp on this? Why do you constantly harp on this? Because peppercorns, or pepper, is at its best, its maximum flavor, when it's freshly cracked. That shit was sitting there since this morning, because in another video, Steve Reichlin says that they grind pepper daily, meaning at the start of the day. If, if you grind pepper and leave it out for an hour, the pepper is fucked. That's why when I have friends over and I'm giving them dinner, I bring the pepper milk to the table so that they can grind pepper to their taste. Aside from what I've already put in there. So, yeah, and it's... God, how the fuck has he been irrelevant for 30 years? I don't know. This, to me, is 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 proof that the devil exists. And he's just fucking with everyone. And whisk the aioli ingredients together. And then we'll spoon the aioli into a serving bowl. Once again, slathering everything with sauce. And... Top it with a sprinkle of fresh chives to reinforce the chive flavor of the... In, in truth, I, I have no problem with this recipe, but you didn't need to use Meyer lemons, okay? Regular lemons will do just fucking fine. Sorry, Steve, we don't fucking all live in the goddamn Martha's Vineyard world, you fucking pretentious cocksucker. Artichokes. God, I fucking And hate there it. you have it, your wood grilled artichokes with Meyer lemon aioli. You you didn't really wood grill them. Wood grilling means the only source of heat comes from wood. You basically had kind of a half ass smoking technique. Okay? Let's let's be honest. If you would wood grill them, that means you start a wood fire and you grill them over that fire. Or actually, that heat. You don't want to grill over an actual wood fire. It's too hot. But whatever. Let's I see get... how we did. I'll take an artichoke and a spoonful of the Meyer lemon. Oh, my aioli. God. And uh, to eat an artichoke, of course, you take the leaves. Oh. Dip in the what? aioli. Mmm. Why should anyone take you seriously? You took the smallest part of the fucking artichoke, you drenched the fucker in your saw. So Actually, you barely drenched it this time, so I don't know how much confidence I have in your shit. Once again, why is anyone taking you seriously when you drench every goddamn thing you fucking make into a fucking, in, in, into a sauce or an aioli or a, or, a, or a compound, whatever the fuck, or whatever. God, I hate you. Great. And you didn't even finish it. Smoky flavor in the artichoke. Again, I'm not completely familiar with artichokes, but 
Once again, the only part that he ate was the part smothered in his aioli. Oh my god, fuck you, Reichlin. God damn it. Why is this guy so fucking popular? How the fuck has this motherfucker had a fucking career? Like, he exhibited terrible techniques. The only time you want... Like, there's two there's two times where you want to live fire. One is if you're cooking pizza in the traditional way, but then again, the fire's over fucking here, and the pizza's here, and it's in a fucking brick oven. Okay, you're baking it. That makes sense. If you're grilling over wood, you kind of wait till it's, you know, hot, but it's not really burning. I just, I, I, uh, God, I hate him. The only time you should be doing that is if you're just charring something, which means literally just taking a blowtorch. Literally, he didn't have to grill it. He could have just parboiled it and took a blowtorch to it. You fucking God, I... And Meyer lemons are totally unnecessary. Yes, I will admit they're superior to regular lemons, but let's be honest, you could have gotten the same goddamn effect with a regular old lemon that anyone can buy. Meyer lemons are A, way more expensive, and B, are not available to everyone everywhere. This is why I like, you know, this is one of the things I've always done on Dave's cooking show is to try to have shit that, um, you know, everybody can do. I try not to buy ingredients that a normal person in a normal-sized city with a normal-sized grocery store couldn't fucking procure. And Meyer lemons at times can be tough to come by, especially if you live in certain parts of the country. We don't all fucking live in Arizona and Maryland, you fucking cocksucking motherfucker. Oh, God, I fucking hate him. Fuck him. <laughs>